All right, hey everyone, Wanderbots here, and welcome to Drake Hollow. It is a... Well, Shell, you've played it. What is it? It's adorable. I'll say that much, but... I, I don't want to give too much away. You're going to be playing through exactly what I had. I usually try and include what genre it, it is in these intros. Uh, well, I, you're gathering resources. You're upgrading your camp. With, okay, so survival. Yeah, there's definitely survival elements. You have to protect your camp against raids from so, enemy units. So kind of seven days to die style then. Uh, mm -hmm. And then, of course, you're... Finding and adopting new mandrakes that give you new abilities and whatnot. So let's see, skin color. Why can I never be blue? Ah, <laughs> that's if you want to go like this is, Edward Cullen this vampire. Is, pale. This is 2020 basement lurker <laughs> skin color. Let's pretend I've seen the sun at least a little bit, and then let's be beautiful. The hairstyle I chose. I know. <laughs> Just me. Oh, yeah. It almost feels like there are more women hair dude than there are for the men. Well, for guys, it looks like you have the floof, which is like a poof pompadour. That's if you want to have mullet. It's not really a mullet, though. A mullet is when that, it's kind of short on the top and sides. But this reminds me of of Obi Wan Kenobi, circa Episode Two. That's not a mullet though. That was just kind of longish hair. Yeah. True. Ponytail guy. Gosh, this is like one of the few games where it's like maybe I should just play as a girl just because <laughs> the hairdos are so bad. I, I mean, mean, that swoosh isn't so bad. Yeah. The poof isn't so bad. And I didn't, didn't actually mind the longish hair. The, like, by longish, I mean... This. Or yeah. this. That's the one I have. Oh, you know what? Tarzan hair. Ah, uh, yeah. Kind of a little bit looks like Tarzan. I like how in the back it has different sections. Oh, sweet. If you Very sculptural. Well, that's eye color. Yeah. Hair color. There we go. Please tell me we can go... Maybe you can go crazy colors. Good. I choose purple. And you can change your eyebrow color. Okay, good. I was, I was about to call attention to that and be like, hold up. Oh. Hair. Ah. Uh... Pink? Each? No. Various reds, blues? I guess I should probably ki kind of go blue. Let's change my eye color then. Bright orange. I don't even think that's possible though. Nah. No. Yeah, there's no orange. Orange is never represented on any of these color wheels. It is a travesty. All right. So we'll you're going just, for like the aqua. We will be colors. water boy. All right, new game. Oh, wait, no, 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 no! Don't, 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 don't! Go back to your character. Okay. Clothing. Oh right. You can change your outfit. I'll go with that. It's really just tears or. That has little purple stripes. I chose that one. <laughs> All right, accept changes. No new game. So does my silhouette change? Oh, probably. Because I know when I first loaded this up... Nope, still the same silhouette. She also... She, he... They have a really long thumb. Like, do you notice when it bends over? Uh, unless that's supposed yeah. to be the whole thumb, it's just missing. Like, it's either missing the knuckle or the the tip of the thumb is super long. Either way, looks like a sleepy kind of rundown town. Angst.
The nice part is I can change what my character looks like every single time. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to be Water Tarzan. All right. <laughs> oh, I rather like Water Tarzan, though. I'm going to turn this down. Okay, there we go. Psst. Hey, kid. Or should I give him my... What voice should I give him? The Jogo voice. The... Probably a slightly mischievous, but also sophisticated voice. I've got voice. a different path for you. Yeah, we'll go with that. Hello. I mean, if you think about it... Ha! This way, kid. This way, kid. Okay. I'll try. Oh, look at all the colors. I like the the purple flowers. I in the blend green. right in. Yep, that you do. Blending. Hey, kid, look. I've been sent to find someone, and I think you're it. This door I'm sitting on, gonna need you to walk through it. It's not strictly speaking a normal spooky door in the woods, really more of a portal. Some folks on the other side could really use your help. I can't force you to step through, though. You gotta do that on your own. But I'd appreciate you deciding fast. My brain's getting foggier the longer I'm on this side. I'm not gonna be able to stick around for much longer. I gotta warn you, this could be a one-way trip. And you're telling when you might get back. It's gonna be dangerous. So, you up for an adventure? Step on in. Peace out. Remember, kids, say no to weird birds and forests. <laughs> A one way trip to the Thorn Dimension. Generating the hollow. Hello, are you there? After you send a message like that, do not expect a response. Oh, you can harvest all those mushrooms, by the way. I picked up one, and then I realized I can take them all. I like it how harvesting is just rocket them into the sky and then into your backpack. Bloop, 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 bloop. There we go. I love this art style. I I've been seeing more and more games adopt it. Uh, oh, you mean stylized, hard edge edges? Yeah, um, painted kind of textures. soft textures with like a nice mm -hmm. glow effect. Uh, Fortnite, Dauntless, Windbound. Uh, I'm sure there's more that I'm I'm missing. There we go. I mean, even WoW to an extent. Yeah. Has a similar appearance. But that I'm so tired of realism in games. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if I'll ever get tired of this specific style. There is a there was a huge debate going on the internet about realism and color like overly colorful or abstract work, and people are just saying, you know, we like some more pizzazz. If you want realism, take a photograph. Ah, you made it much better. It was fogging up something awful. No offense. But I hate crossing over. If I'm being honest, I wasn't sure you'd cross. I'd been starting to lose hope. Seems like it's on short supply everywhere these days. Welcome to the hollow. It's seen better days, I'm afraid. That's why you're here. Follow me, I'll clarify. It's a style that ages better than realism. I think mm -hmm. that's it for me. Uh, like, I think realism in, art in artwork can do well. But... And I wouldn't, I, I feel like the, if you want realism, take a photo, that can be a little dismissive. But from like a video game perspective, realism often leads to boring. I brought you here at the request of an old friend, someone on your, someone from your side of the hedge from way back. Probably best you just heard from her directly. She left me this note. Oh, a note from Sarah Howe. Find someone new. Dear Wise Crow, I know how to help you find the drakes. I need you to find a warrior, strong, of will and body, sensitive to animals. Look for them when the hedge is thin. Bring them to finish what I am too frail to accomplish. They must work with the drakes to build their power and seek out my effects, hidden from the Terminer. Find them 
It's the only way to save the Hollow. Yours, Sarah Howe. So here we are. You've got that youthful vigor we need. The hedge was thin, as and as evidenced by this here conversation, you've got the gift of animal whispering. Come on, I've got something I'd like you to try, and some folks I think you should meet. I feel like Halo Infinity is moving towards this style direction instead of realism and graphics. I think I, th I think that's fine. But maybe that's also for me who played I I well, played Halo without a graphics card, so it looked very cartoony when I first played it. It was very <laughs> strange. Actually playing Halo 2 afterwards and being like, "Why does everybody look real? What is this?" I think really it also boils down to what sets a game apart. Mhm. Mm and I find that having stylization means that you can distinguish something from, like, a particular game from another game. Now that we've had a little nature hike, it's time to get to work. I've got a little theory about you and want to test it out. See if I really did choose the right person for the job. I think there's more to you than you realize. Let's see for yourself that pile of crystals over there. Get up close, attune your mind to waking them. See what happens. I also love the fact that they still have the 2D assets for yeah, the Yeah, the 2D character portraits look real pretty. Mm-hmm. Awaken the shrine. Mmm, crystal touch. <laughs> taste good? <laughs> no taste good. Really, you're Why not does my character look target. just so soulful? Like, oh. They're so cute. They're very cute. Look at them. Oh no. <laughs> Take stick, beat thing. Beat thing. E, wobbly stick. Crud wobbly stick. 11 days. One for stick. Alright. Where is foe? I pressed one to equip melee weapon. I've succeeded It'll at that. Alright, there we go. What these salamander hounds? Yeah. They kind of have that, um. Oogie Boogie look to them. Mm-hmm. Now, do we have a dodge roll? Not as far as I know. Yeah, we do. Really? What did you do? Control. Control. Yeah, you oh, can do it. Oh, it's a sprint. Interesting. Yeah, you can do a dash to get out of the way. A little dash. You've met our esteemed allies, the Drakes, and vanquished a pack of pesky pharaoh. Not too bad, kid. The Drakes are a companionable lot. Kind souls, unfortunately, they've had a rough go. Ain't what they used to be. Invaders, those little terminos the note mentioned, made a real mess of things, so they're a little skittish around newcomers with a penchant for brawling. So you're going to need to do some legwork to earn their trust. The Drakes are plenty hungry and thirsty, hibernating so long, unfortunately, the land's no good. Everything that comes out of this ground, everything that comes out of this ground is blighted, ined inedible. You're going to need something to cleanse things for them to eat. You look like a crafty sort, though. Remember that attunement business with the crystals? That right there is your gift. With a little focus, you can let the drakes know what you need built, and they'll hop to it. Gather up some lumber and build a cleansing cauldron. Come back to me when it's built, and I'll tell you how to use it. Yeah, take a couple of glowstone shards to get you started, and you'll need them to build the cauldron. Also, take this healing salve. It's the only one I've got, but you're going to be scrapping with those grunts. You're going to need it. You'll learn how to make more soon enough if you use that one up. Grubbins. Was that first bit gone with G-O-N-N-E? -N -N -E? I think it was a typo. Yeah, probably. Tree! How the heck did, can I do that with just a stick? Yeah, I, I do admit... When I first came through here, I was looking for an axe in the dilapidated cars sitting around town, but then I realized I was actually damaging the trees. I went, oh, that's how I get lumber. Yep. Still no co-op mode. 
It probably won't be until after you get to the lighthouse. That makes sense. That was as far as I had played. So what is the name of this game? This is Drake Hollow. It came out on Xbox last week, and it will be out on PC in very soon. They don't have a specific uh, release date on that one. Apparently there's some weird bugs? Question mark? I haven't seen anything, but whatever it is, it's enough that they needed it, needed to delay this. Originally, it was supposed to come out in July, but they decided to delay it for whatever reason. I mean, it's always nice to have a little bit more time well, yeah. for finishing touches and to make sure it runs perfectly. My perspective, always delay your game <gasps> if you think you Why are you getting rid of all it. the trees? Okay. I won't... Because you actually destroy them permanently. In that case, I probably should have gone for the more... Well, we're going to leave this region anyway. Yeah, I, I think every time you go to a new island, you might create a new hollow, but... Yeah. I wonder what happens when we play co-op if all of our instanced building stations and stuff... I bet you just joined my session. Oh, okay. Yep, there's a the cauldron. You little skitterbug. <laughs> nice work, kid. I knew you had it in you. Now, for the most important part, using the cauldron. You're going to need to investigate the island a bit more for a couple of things. Juice boxes and bane berries. At least four of each. Walk up to the cauldron and toss them in. Soon the berries and juice will be cleansed and the drakes can chow down. Knowing they got a meal waiting should show them you're not looking to do them harm. Yum, bane berries. I, with a name like Baneberry, I'd... Uh, be wary little of suspect. them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just going to grab everything. Uh, the one thing, uh, the, the tip I got as we were starting is loot everything before you leave because, uh, you need it, question mark. Mm -hmm. So that means we will deforest each and every one of these areas. Even if the trees are absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's a shame. Hopefully the more stuff we grab on this island, the less we'll have to deforest on subsequent ones. Yeah, I was just hoping that there would be some trees that are just off limits. Set pieces. Yeah. And they're the set pieces. I was expecting the big ones to not be destroyable, but I was wrong. Now you're gonna need juice boxes from. You notice how there's some refuse and then the the abandoned cars. Yeah. Those are what you're going to need. Yep. Oh, there you go. Uh oh, creature. Oh. Hi. I assume I can't go in there. It'll kill you. Okay. Not immediately, but after a couple seconds. In order to cross those aether streams, you need to have a crystal. Right. To act as a ward. Shiny objects. Upholstery scrap. Juice box. Juice box. I like it how the character just does not know what a spoon is. <laughs> what is this shiny thing? That's further cementing the fact that, or the fact, the idea that we are actually just Tarzan Man. Now, I actually haven't been in this house oh, yet. Oh, you didn't? No, I, I went exploring elsewhere. Ah. I was able to get everything I needed without going into the home. I got a nail gun. Yep. That acts as your ranged weapon. So, I'm already getting mild Fortnite vibes from this. In, just in terms of the, like, wander into house. House gather is kind items. of trashy. Gather a bunch of stuff. Uh, rinse, repeat. Except for... This doesn't seem like it's going to be a, a terrible Skinner box. Which excites me, because I really wanted Fortnite to actually be like this good sandbox game. And it was... it was not. I mean, maybe it was good for some people, but I found it definitely kind of meh. Well, and also you're going to be raising cute little mandrakes and... Oh, look at these. Music's pretty good, too. Skullcaps. Very mournful, but... 
Mm -hmm. Pretty nice. Nail guns can't actually fire the nails without something on front. Your logic has no place in video games! <laughs> Shell's back seating. Lots new. Oh, Let's it's see. purple. Yeah, you didn't notice the house was purple? I thought it was pinkish from a distance, but no, it is purple. Probably just distraction with the whole trees. That and there's this blue mist. Yeah, it's true. Grab coat rack. Whoa. Uh, it's a ski? Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, you know, every all things considered, coat rack is not the worst idea in the world. Now, if those prongs were sharpened and such, it would be more like a spear or a yeah. trident. Except in that case, it would be quadrant. <laughs> nah. Okay. I think we got enough. I'm gonna keep grabbing stuff though because I'm an obsessive. It doesn't seem like there's any kind of time limit, right? I mean, or... ideally, ideally you want to get back to your mandrakes and feed them. Yeah. I mean, at the moment though, because you haven't fed them, I suppose they're in a perpetual contented state. And, but once you build that cauldron and feed them for the first time, then you're going to have to be more concerned about. Okay. So in that case, it might enemies. mildly be a good idea to raid everything for a little bit. Just because we're going to have to come back and grab all of this stuff anyway. Mm -hmm. I don't... How how hard are the raids? Not very hard. Oh, okay. And I've only ever experienced one, the oh. first one. Okay. Well, I guess, I guess I should probably go somewhat quick just so you're not... Mm-hmm sitting here on the couch watching me do the things that we could be doing together. I yep. must grab as many cattails as possible. They don't scratch back. When I was a kid, I always enjoyed gathering cattails. I thought they were cute. Mm -hmm. And then one day I accidentally tasted one and then I... What? <laughs> what do you mean you accidentally tasted one? I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just like... Oh, you touched the water. Water is... Did it stab me? Yeah, yeah. It sends these little thorns out. That's and it mean. holds you in place and kills you. I don't actually remember the exact... series of events that led led to me tasting a cattail. All I just remember is that it, I, I tasted it and it was not worth it. I think... I, I, I can't imagine. You would think that you would grasp the cattail in your mouth and immediately just the fact that it well, is yeah. this absorbent, spongy substance and it would be just so dry. You know? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh. So funding found. So that gives us like an actual full on status effect. I like that. What? So extra item drops. Okay. Oh, your mandrakes have different names than mine. Huh. Makes sense. Drake supply. So we got plenty of food, no water, and not a whole lot of entertainment. Making more than you need, making less than you need, exactly what you need. Good to know. You're very low on mandrakes. Yes. Or happiness. The drakes weren't always like this. Their hearts are the same, but their minds aren't. Not since the Termina came along and twisted the magic of this place to their will. With your help, we can restore the drakes, even send you home once they get their magic back. But before we go off saving the world, we better finish tending to the drakes' basic needs. The drakes don't just need food and water, they're going to need a place to sleep. Also, these folks can literally die of boredom. You're proving to be pretty crafty. I think you can help them with their sleeping spots and entertainment. Why don't you try building the drakes a couple of thatched beds and poppets? You can get everything you need from that, uh, for thatched beds from trees as for poppets. Look along the shorelines for cattails. And beat up some cars for upholstery. 
Okay, charms. Provide magic to produce curios and have improvements. Interact with drakes to collect charms. Use inspect to see how many a drake has. Happy drakes produce more charms. The more drakes in your village, the larger pool you can collect. Cool. Drakes sleep in entertainment. Thatch beds and poppets around to prevent them from dying of boredom or exhaustion until you can build more permanent structures. Without a place to sleep, a drake will return to hibernation. Make sure there's always enough beds or you'll see your population plummet. Okay, they obtain some buff. Charms. I see, so the buff is a temp buff that you probably only get from one of them. Only one at a time. I see. Works for me. Bottling. I feel bad for waking them up. <laughs> oh, they also heal me. Isn't that handy. Right. Thatch bed. Don't layer them on top of one another. But it's the sleeping nook. Oh, I like how their vines change depending on what color they are. Yeah. There they go. Wait, hey, just... hey you. Go, go to the go to your proper bed. There you go. Okay. I guess I'm going to wander off oh, for a little bit. You need to build a poppet for that. We need some more charms, and I don't know if they have charms yet. Uh, Let's see, so I figured I'd just wander off for a smidge. Look at the sky. Just like the colors. Yeah. And the very big, like, Toy Story-esque clouds. Mm -hmm. Oh, those beds were... Yep, there. I think you have to make one each night. We can make more permanent things. Mm hmm. But the thatched ones are only good for one night each. Oh! And they will, like, help grab things. Mm hmm. Looks like you're pretty good with the cauldron. So, do they put stuff in the depot? Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, and I have a limited amount of. Resources. Okay. Or not limited resources, uh, limited amount of space. Okay. So it looks like they get charms fairly often, actually. I guess I'll just plop the poppet down. We'll care more about better base design later. Oh, so you need one more charm to build the second poppet. Yeah, fun Funling's got him. Okay, so they immediately add two to the fun stockpile, but don't generate any additional fun. Interesting. This is almost kind of like a weird, darker version of Ooblets that I'm <laughs> getting right now, where you have to care more about them. So the crow is actually implying that uh, these guys got cursed to be dumb. <laughs> uh. Oh. Make sure you have everything in your inventory, otherwise it we'll, won't carry over. Oh, I got it. Look at that. They grow up so fast. So, as you may have realized, supplies on this island are a bit limited. So about that situation. You might have figured out you're trapped. You're a little trapped on this island. Fear not, as you've most likely surmised. It, this isn't an unfixable situation. Here you go. <laughs> Like most problems in the hollow, you can build your way out of this one. Take this schematic. You can use it to unlock the ancient and arcane art of building a curio workshop. Go ahead, try building one. You're going to have to if you ever want to get out of this place. Yep. Okay. okay need more, more charms. Need more charms. More hugs. Oh, you got... Yep, there we go. Bill's got plenty. Funling? <laughs> He's eating cauldrons. <laughs> eh, it's working. Okay. Unlock. Oh, so you spend schematics to unlock these things. Yep. 
I'm noticing I have five letters. Oh, do I get that from the other side? Like over here? No. Well, it's an awful lot of mailboxes. Yeah, but do you see the little, like, mail symbol in the top left? Yeah, I I never actually have okay. to open those. Simple Curio Workshop is used for R&D of new curios. Use gadgets and knickknacks. Once you've unlocked a recipe here, you can always make more anywhere from your build menu. So, research table. So... Healing cells. Aether. Yep, you need the aether stones. Fair bit here. Mm hmm I was interested in knowing what moon call and sun call would be. Probably switches what time time of day it is. Oh, you're right. That would be the case. I've got a good feeling about you. It keeps getting better. Sorry to drag you into all of this, but things have gotten pretty desperate. There's still drakes out there who need your help. Climb that lighthouse up north and take a look-see. Keep an eye out for hibernating drakes along the way. Grab any schematics you might find. Come back and talk to me once you've explored around there a bit. Alright, so it wants me to go that way. I go that direction first, though. We'll wander off just a smidge. Unless that's where I came from. Well, I think the magpie is up there, and then... I don't know why I'm so obsessive about grabbing cattails. <laughs> is that a highway over there? Yeah, crashed one with the bus. Mm -hmm. Goose box, upholstery scrap. Why is it always toilets? Ah! I admit, I just pranced right over to the lighthouse because I knew I, after doing that, I'd be able to get out of the tutorial stage. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'll go do that. I'm sorry. Every time I just am told, go here. I know, I know. It is my instinct to say, no, I go elsewhere. But this way I can actually get you in. Mm-hmm. Nope. <gasps> okay, uh, I mean, do you have your aether stones with you? I'm good. Thank goodness. Yeah, because you're only given a certain amount of time before it KOs you. Yeah, I do have the aether stones. I shouldn't say KO. At least I thought I made one. Oh, oh, um, go to your menu. Don't, don't go to your build menu. Aether wards. I need more glowstone shards. No, Unless no, no, I use no, no, no. Go up. to, um, go to three. Ah. And then you equip it, and then you hold it, and that's how you get across the water. I see. That's kind of nice. I'm a slug, you weird pug dog. There's another one. Oh, they roll at you. Apparently they do. Then they get kind of stunned. This gets me some glowstone. Well, that's kind of pleasant music, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. We're getting pretty close, right? I mean, admittedly, you went to a completely different island. I haven't even been on this one before. What? But it's telling me to go this way. Oh, the islands might be slightly randomly generated. No, I think what it is is it's off to the side. Oh. You could have just crossed one aether stream in order to get to it. But now you're crossing over two. I see. Unless, can you look at the island with the lighthouse? I do like a map. Aha! So Camp Mystic. Oh, Whoa. wait a minute. Wait, where is the lighthouse? That's probably the lighthouse. This is city gas. Oh, then maybe our islands were randomly generated. Randomly generated. Actually, can you look at your basic map? I just want to see if it, the islands are in different places than in mine. Can you zoom out? Yeah, I think your islands, I think your islands are different than mine. Bye by me. 
does mean in future worlds, uh, we'll keep the trees around our home base just for aesthetics and then chop everything everywhere else. Okay, uh, let's see. Lighthouse is over there. I wonder if any resources come back. Probably not. Oh, hold up. I think once I you've smacked something, it's gone. But yeah, there are more resources Sneaky. up here. Sneaky. I wonder if it even depletes... Yeah. So there's still a couch, cache of brick and cloth somewhere. Oh, we could do a slam attack. Now, usually that music means something. Maybe it's on the... Outside? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's what makes the music. And it disappears as soon as you slap them. So there's still a cache of bricks somewhere. Let's see. Well, oh. I ain't hearing it. Oh, there I'm it is. I'm hearing it. Well, this is cool. I like this. Okay, lighthouse is here. Yeah. Nice one. There we go. So have you unlocked a better weapon at the point you're at, or are you still using the stick? I mean, I was using uh, like a chair leg. I had a butter churn. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just the... Just the my my weapons are just trash. <laughs> Admission is I don't know amusing to me. I mean, you had more interesting ones. You had the the coat rack. And did someone rip off Fortnite and make it good? It's hard to call this immediately a rip off because it does enough things different. However, the spirit is similar to what I had hoped Fortnite would have been, and it is. Good. So, I guess by that logic, yes. Aha, you got stuck in the toilet. <laughs> you absolute grubbin. Oh, oh, you found drink. a you found a Drake. Big leaf. Oh, it's cute. They're all cute. Fire damage over time to enemies hit. Blazing. Uh, so, you, yeah, you can choose to get that. I'd rather have too. Lucky, though. Free free items. Because we're not mm -hmm. in the point where I need to worry about damage yet. Whereas getting extra items sounds really helpful. I hadn't found a third Drake yet. Well, if you're joining my world, then you you already have. Wait, so does that mean that I don't progress in my game, but I help you progress yours? I think, yeah, kind of. But it's like, it's more world. Because I don't think our character levels up at all. We'll mm -hmm. have to see if you carry over any of your items. Yeah. Okay, there we go. You're getting a lot of brick. I am. I think I only had paper in mine. Weed spray. Huh. Yeah, it's interesting just how much stuff is generated. It works. Procedural generation can be fun. Especially for a game like this. I Maybe it'll hold hold it back eventually. Oh, a note, a note. Oh, oh you're right. A page from the Journal of Noble Mason. Oh, this, this is Heretics probably a guy. Cursed. To date, five souls have come before our courts, each accused by uh, by use of spectral evidence, questioned and sent to the maker. Some call such means of inquiry severe, but I say to thee, if they will not confess in this life, they shall do so in the next. For who am I to begrudge their do uh, the doom to their fate? Ah! Hmm. So, just talk about witchcraft. Which is? I got a good talker.
Let's see. But yeah, so we can use the map, by the way, to look over if we've missed anything. So, so is this supposed to be set in Massachusetts? Uh, maybe possibly. Because lighthouses, talks of witches, kind of that sleepy old town feel. A note from Sarah Howe. I know not where I am, but I know who I was. My name is Sarah Howe, a midwife's apprentice, a daughter and sister, dutiful to my lord. I lay down my life story here as plain as I can for whoever should find it. I write lest I think my old life was a dream. I swear this account be true. Okay, I want to check something. See, Actually, a of her people name is familiar too. Sarah Howe? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, is this early access or full release? You know? I haven't the foggiest. I'm I'm looking at the Steam page and it doesn't say anything. It says coming soon. So yeah, so on Steam it's coming soon. The the thing I will say is I I know it it's not fully featured because we're still missing the uh, the sandbox mode. It's campaign only currently, mm -hmm. but I don't necessarily know if it's a full campaign or if it's partial. I hope it's full campaign because I'm enjoying this and I'd hate to have to stop early. Oh. Yeah, so... They might be the blue circles. Uh, Hibernating Drake is this. Yeah, see? Yep, so That's there's one I mean. there. A couple over there. None back on the previous island. Yeah, your island configuration is very different from mine. Works. Log. Help messages? Oh! Uh, okay. That's what the letters are. Teaching me just how to play. Mm -hmm. Amp. Oh, look! Affinity, Malachite, Ionite, and Jade. Hmm. Oh, age up with more Malachite. So you find crystals and you give it to the Mandrakes and that's how they level up. Mm-hmm. Camp status, tech tree. Oh, that's fun. Keeps going, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, you can make electrical fences? Yep. Hydroponic greenhouses, puppet space show. heaters, puppet shows. Cool. Okay. Now, if you notice, there was a crystal clump on uh, top of the house. Uh, let's see. In the cutscene. Oh, you mean... That one. Yep. yep. Oh, there's a bag, too. And as far as I know, it doesn't seem like you take falling damage. Melee weapons at capacity. Oh. Uh -oh. Ooh, a scythe. Can you drop one if you don't want it? The note doesn't matter. Oh, the raid, right. You have to run back to your home base. Remember to use your stone. Oh, no. But you only have one stone. Can you make it the entire way? Like skipping that yeah. island on the right? I can make it. Dash. Press C to craft more aether wards. Yeah, you see. I could have made it. Uh, let's see. Oh. I'll just revive a camp. It doesn't mean that you lose durability. Who cares? It's just ma weapon durability. Interesting. You didn't face a large one like I did. I faced two Maybe small ones in a large Maybe you were further one. than I was. Mm-hmm. Oh. That little guy's helping himself. Yep. Your, your new Drake. And he has a gift. Yeah, you should probably uh, craft more Aether Wards. Yep. Curio crafting. There we go. Now I got a ton. Mm -hmm. 18. Whoa. All right. Hey, convert to multiplayer. So, Shell. Yeah, that It's means time to play with me. Yeah. Hooray. I'll have to go to my computer on the other side of the house. So, I guess with this, uh, this will be a good end for the first episode. So, don't take that off yet. 
Mm -hmm. We're going to do an outro for once. So, I I guess we'll see you on the next episode with Shell. Uh, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave us a like. Help some more than you know. And if you want to hug more drakes, uh, hit subscribe because we're going to be hugging more drakes. Well, they're so adorable. Oh, I can give it kyanite crystals too. <gasps> wait, wait, do you I have, have some? one? I have you one. You do. Oh, but it's only going to give it a bit. Let's not age it up because that might make them hungrier. All right, so with that, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.